hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to be talking about the risk factors of taking vitamins minerals and supplements on an empty stomach why it may not be so good for your health the reason why it just may not be good to take vitamins minerals and supplements on an empty stomach is because of absorption if you want to get the best out of your supplements your vitamins your minerals you want your body to absorb them successfully if you take these supplements on an empty stomach your body are, is not able to absorb them successfully so we have our fat soluble um, vitamins that should be taken with fats and we have our water soluble vitamins that should be taken with food or water some supplements can be taken with water some with food some with fats some with ordinary foods like starches proteins carbohydrates so we have our b vitamins our vitamin c's our potassiums our calciums these are all water soluble vitamins and most of these vitamins should be taken with food we have our vitamin d our vitamin d is a fat soluble vitamin and the fat soluble vitamin should be taken with fats our body can absorb this vitamin successfully if it is taken with fats so almond butter um avocado oil avocados even so if you want to get the most out of your vitamins minerals and supplements you should be taking them correctly some vitamins state that you should take them before food you should take them after food or you should take them during food make sure you follow these instructions because it's uh, the best way for you to get optimal results and for you to reap the benefits from your vitamins minerals and supplements so some side effects of not taking your vitamins minerals and supplements with foods or some risk factors and some things that have happened to me in the past when i've been rushing and so busy um so some um you know side effects that's happened to me is extreme dizziness extreme light headed um stomach aches nausea and the dizziness can get really bad because i think um the vitamins and minerals they consume um your body and they try and find that water that water base they try and find either the fat or they try and find um the protein the carbohydrates and they can't they have nothing to um, react with that they, they don't have your stomach acids and they don't have um, the right environment to absorb um, these vitamins minerals and supplements so um, these vitamins minerals and supplements will try and draw energy um, from your body and this can um, strip you of iron it can strip you of calcium so um, you have to be really careful because if you have to take a vitamin mineral or supplement with a meal it means it definitely means something you know they're working together so if the supplement has nothing to work with it will start working on its own and it could start robbing you of the nutrients you have or the nutrients you have in reserve and then that could leave you with headaches with nausea with stomach pains um feeling lightheaded so these are really important reasons why you should take your vitamins and minerals or your supplements um, with foods and just not on an empty stomach some supplements do recommend you do take them without food like I have an ashwagandha supplement and it contains sea kelp um, and spirulina and it says you can take this on an empty stomach but definitely if you are taking vitamin D and I know a lot of the population are taking vitamin D please try and take it with a fat soluble foods so you're able to reap the benefits so as i said avocados even nut you're allergic to nuts which some people are unfortunately try avocados try butter you can try olive oil just any sort of fat and it doesn't have to be a lot of fat it just needs to be about five grams of fat for your body to absorb <coughs> um and your body to react with the vitamin d so anyway uh, also really really important to take your vitamins minerals and supplements with a lot of water especially if you are taking biotin 
biotin is really really good for you it's good for hair growth it's good for bone density it's good for keratin it's good for your bones your eyes your skin but if not taken with a sufficient amount of water it can have adverse or reverse effects so please make sure you are taking your vitamins and minerals with a good amount of water so thanks again for watching this video guys i really hoped you you liked it if you take any vitamins and minerals and you're a bit stuck on what you should take and what you shouldn't take and um what you should take what you should take with food what you should take with water please let me know thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one